so excited. You're gonna learn how to play piano, right? Are you excited? Okay, and this is gonna be your book. And you see two frames here, right? This is, will be my picture here. And you'll tape it at home. And here I'd like you to tape your picture. What is my picture? Or you can draw yourself. And we'll be always here together with you, right? Okay, so I'd like you to pick a crayon. Your favorite color. And you're gonna write your name in the book. There's so many colors I can even pick. Okay, let me pick for you. How about this? It's a pretty color. Mm -hmm. And here you can um write your name <laughs> on the line yes nice beautiful me wow wow very nice and here we'll write my name yes and now I would like you to tell me about yourself and then you ask mommy she'll fill it out at home during your home practice right mm -hmm. tell me about your family mm. what can you tell me about your family who do you live with and who are your pets you you said many names Two of them are pets, right? Mm -hmm. They are who? Cats or dogs? Cats. Cats. And what their names are? Ali and Bella. Ali and Bella. And what are your favorite toys? My favorite toys are playing with little unicorns and like stuffed animals. Mm. What is your favorite stuffed animal? Unicorns. Unicorns. So you you are in love with unicorns, mm -hmm. right? Excellent. I even taped a little gem on my unicorn. <laughs> nice. And what are your favorite things to do? My favorite thing to to do, I think, is color and read and even. You said color. Mm -hmm. And read, and what else? I think it might be it. How about watching TV? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the most favorite, huh? <laughs> okay, now tell me, what makes you sad? When people call me names. <gasps> Who calls you names? Nobody. <laughs> so why it makes you sad? <laughs> All right, and what makes you happy? Um, I think doing coloring or watching TV. That's what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. How about playing with your sister? Mm -hmm. Yes, and your friends? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, and your pets? Yeah, but also I even have this stretchy thing in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Everything's purple and pink. Okay, very good. So you'll fill out this page. And let's look with you here. And at the end of the lesson, I'll give you these toys to take home. Yay. Okay? So who do you see here? And point out on this picture, what do you see? Who is this? Um, the fairy princess. It's a fairy, and her name is Musicalina. She is magical, and she helps everyone whenever they have any musical problems. That's why her name is Fairy Musicalina. And who is this? Um, the king and queen. No, this is king. Can you find the king here? This is a king. His name is King Meter. Can you say it? King Meter? Um, King Meter. Mm -hmm. And 
he had two darling children. One is Prince and his name is Rhythm. Can you say Rhythm? Prince Rhythm. Prince Rhythm. Rhythm. And Princess Melody. So Princess Melody. She Princess has Melody. Princess Melody. They love, they live in this very beautiful, magical, musical kingdom. And in this kingdom live lots of different sounds. For example, can you tell me what sounds live in the sky? What can we hear from the sky? Um, trees whistling. Trees whistling. How about birds? Yes. What sounds we can hear from the forest? Let's mm -hmm. let's not press petals because they squeak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we hear from the forest? Put your feet. Mm -hmm. um, I say we hear um, um, sounds of the leaves. Yeah, because reindeer might be walking in them. Yes, sounds of and the different animals, right? Mm -hmm, like chipmunks. Chipmunks, excellent. What sounds can we hear from the ocean? Waves. Waves, sounds of the water, and maybe creatures who live in the ocean. Who lives yeah. in the ocean? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Whales. Ah. Yes. Fish. Yes, dolphins live in the water, and dolphins make very interesting sounds. Have you heard all? You saw dolphins, right? Mm -hmm. You even swam with dolphins <laughs> before, yes? Was it fun? Yeah. Yes, very good. So, once King Meter decided to invite all the sounds to his castle to meet them. And you kitties. know what? Hmm? It's kitties. <laughs> and kitties, yeah. And these sounds they were so excited they came but they started talking at once and it was so noisy that king mirror just closed his ears and you know who he's called to help him mm -mm. who helped with all the musical trouble fairy musicalina and she came and she waited for a magical wand just like that and what did she create Two pianos. Pianos. They are, as you said, they are two different kinds. She created many pianos, but they are all, all the pianos could be two kinds. Mm -hmm. And this is called upright piano. For example, this is an upright piano. Do you think in my room here we have a grand piano? Mm. Can you look around? Is there another piano? Mm -hmm. Is it the same as this? Mm -hmm. You can look, you can stand up and go around and look. What kind of piano is that? Um, it's a grand piano. Mm -hmm. What kind of piano do you have at home? I think this kind. Yes. How do we call it? Mm. Upright, because it goes up right mm -hmm. and grand piano is huge that's why we call it it's grand mm -hmm. right grand piano so because these instruments are so majestic and all they fit all the sounds i'll i'll show you look i'll put this this um our characters here and listen See how many sounds are here in the yeah. piano. So these instruments are really majestic and we need to learn how to sit at the piano, yeah. right? So let's take a look with you at this boy. He, see, he sits in the piano. And I know that not too long ago you were riding a pony. Do you remember? Yeah, that's, I didn't really do it that right. <laughs> You didn't do writing? What did you do? <laughs> I did a pony. I just don't know if I did it the right way. I'm sure you did it the right way. <laughs> okay, so 
Now I need you to close your eyes and follow my directions. Imagine you're sitting on the pony. Mm -hmm. Now, pony is gonna move now. So how do you sit so you control the pony? What? How should you sit so you can control the pony if, if, if it suddenly starts running? You need to sit very, you need to feel your feet where? Mm. In the stirrups, right? So if pony runs, you can really control with your feet, your body, and your back is very toned, and your arms and hands are holding the reins, mm -hmm. like that, right? Now close your eyes. Oh, open your eyes. <laughs> Good, so this is a perfect position to play the piano. We can even imagine the piano is your own pony. Mm -hmm. Would it be nice? Mm -hmm. And piano has teeth like a pony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger. It's huge mm -hmm. mouth with all different teeth, right? Yeah. But it, it smiles to you, see, it opens wide and smiles to you so it's a very friendly piano very friendly pony okay so at home you're gonna practice how to sit at the piano and what you're gonna do for that mm. you're gonna close your eyes and imagine you're on a pony very good excellent we are going to turn the new page. <gasps> so when all the sounds moved into the piano, they loved their places and they chose those that they thought were the best for them. So <laughs> the big animals like bear and maybe a pony. It's a little flying pony, right? Yeah. Pony maybe will be like that. But bear will be here because it's it stands on the ground low, right? Mm -hmm. And then the sounds go up like that. So here we might have kids. Can you sing this now? Okay, sing this. So see, you can sing it. Can you sing this one? It's only for bears. Mm -hmm. Can you sing this one? Mm -hmm. It's easy. It's easy? Can you sing it? Mm -hmm. I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you? No. This, who, who do you think will do? Yeah. Mouse. Mouse. Birds. Listen. Chirp, 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 chirp. Yes? So, where's the low sounds? In which part of the piano? Can you show me? These. Low? Mm -hmm. These are high in the sky. Mm. Yes. Very good. Now close your eyes and I'll play for you sounds and you'll tell me are they high, low, or middle. Mm -hmm. Okay? So bear, birds, or kids? Um, bear. So is it low or high? Low. How about this? Um, high. High. How about this? Medium. Middle. Very good. So our sounds, you can open your eyes. Our sounds are always go from low to high. And high is where your right hand is. Mm -hmm. You can easily reach it. And low is where your left hand is. Let's see if you can reach reach the very last one. Can you play it? Oh, so low. Let's reach the highest one. Don't fall from your pony. Mm -hmm. Let's play like a bird. Relax. Very good. And now we are going to listen with you to some music. Let's put Pony back. Now, tell me please, who do you see on these pictures? 
You I'd fish like you to and turtle and elephant and roosters. Okay, and then rooster, right? And sheep and mouse and like uh -huh. a tiger. Yes. But now we are gonna listen to to a little bit of a music and you're gonna guess what this music is about. Who of these? Are you ready? Put your feet down. Yes. Is it low or high? Um, uh, lo low. There, right? Mm -hmm. So who is who of these are low sounds? Low. Don't look here. Only the top ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. You got it. Okay, let's listen to the next one. Carnival of the Animals. It has a CD. Do you have CD player at home? No, but we might buy one. But I'm sure you can find these pieces on YouTube. And I would like you to read this book and listen to the music. So if it says Royal March of the Lion, you just type it on YouTube and listen to it and read a story. Okay, and look what's here. How did you call it? Mm. Orchestra. Orchestra. Which instruments you can recognize here? Mm. Mm. Who is this? Who is this? Conductor. And I. <laughs> what is this? this instrument who knows how to play it i do because there are sometimes teaching me <laughs> <laughs> so what it's called cello mm -mm. cello and what about this or this i think it's a violin violin very good and this person is conductor and this is a xylophone mm -hmm. xylophone and what is this Piano. Is it upright piano or a grand piano? Upright piano. Does it look like this? Uh-uh. No, so it's a grand, grand piano. piano. And what is this instrument? Mm. It's a flute. <laughs> so you, with mommy, you look at all these instruments. You read about them, right? Mm -hmm. And then you read this about the lion and listen to the music and every day you can do one animal see there are very nice pictures here and very nice stories mm -hmm. excellent now you also see this animal so i would like you to try to show me where they would be living here on the keyboard Where would this, lot, it's a tiger. Where would tiger live? Mm, mm. Can you play tiger sound and say 
I am a tiger. Boy. I'm a tiger. He's a baby tiger. Maybe not as low. Maybe a little bit higher. Maybe. I'm a tiger. And who is this? These are kids' area, right? And sheep will be, yeah, sheep, sheep. Excellent job. Okay. Now, before we move on, I'd like to ask you, could you sing a song for me? What is your favorite song? I think I will enter go to go. Which one would you like to sing? Mm. I love you. Okay, let's start. I love okay. I love. Just sing, but sing with expression, like you sing to someone that you love them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hat and a kiss from me to you. So you, I love it, but I'd like you to practice singing it a little bit at home so I could understand every single word. Because at the end, I, I couldn't even understand what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Okay? So slowly, I love you. Let's do it together. You. Can you try to match your voice with my voice? I, a little bit higher. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Very good job. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. We have a new picture here, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you see in this picture? Let's put you in. Mm -hmm. What do you see in this picture? Princess. Princess. And a tree. And what kind of tree is that? Hmm. Have you seen those trees around your house? Around the pond? Mm -hmm. Miss Sabrina's yard has one. Mm -hmm. And you kind of go through it sometimes, remember? Mm -hmm. What is this tree called? Weeping Willow. Tree. Have you heard this name? Mm -mm. Weeping willow. Why do you think it's called weeping willow? Because the branches are just hanging down. So right now we are going to imagine with you, we are going to turn into weeping willow tree. So let's stand up. Let's get off the bench. Okay. And we are going to do a weeping willow exercise with you. And we are going to do it with music. Stand straight. Let's go here. And now, like a big tree, feel your body like a big trunk. And your arms like branches. And we'll bend a little bit forward and start moving our arms like that. Across. And now start going down. Slowly, 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 like little breeze moving our branches, and then the same slowly, and then the same slowly. Let's come back up. Our arms feel so 
good, right? Let's do one more time. Go down, down, and up. And at the end, we'll try to move our branches a little bit up and down. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and out. Beautiful. Excellent job. And now we need to learn. Let me put the bench step up a little bit. Let me move the bench closer. And now we are going to learn with you how to do this weeping willow tree exercise at the piano. Let's put our feet flat. Let's imagine sitting on a pony. Good. Let me turn the music. And at first, I'll do it with your right hand. Do you know where your right hand is? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Right hand. Where is it? So I'm going to take it. Put your feet flat, please. And we'll go. <gasps> breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, put it down. Breathe in, out. In. I don't hear you breathing out. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. In. We don't need to play anything. And now you do the same with your left arm or with both of them. How about that? Mm -hmm. okay. Let's prepare. Feet, pony, stirrups. Now breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. No pain. Breathe out. Now look at my fingers. Let's see. Okay. They're just thinking. In. No pressing. Wait, I don't press anything. And I don't do like that. Breathe in. Chicken dance. <laughs> Only weeping a little over tree branches. Yes, you did such a great job. Let me do it one more time with you to remind you how. So our arms, remember when we were standing, you didn't do anything with your upper arms, right? You were only moving the whole arm like that. So that's the same thing we do at the piano with you. Okay, put your feet flat, mm -hmm. like this, in stirrups. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll breathe in. And just put gently your hand, no pressing, just put like this. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that hand. It's amazing. Now breathe in. And breathe out. And see, your fingers didn't go like that this time, right? Pony, rider, my little rider. Beautiful. Look at that. Mommy's taking a picture now. See? Look at that. And now breathe out. Breathe in. And out. And let's do once with the left hand. With the left arm. Okay. Breathe in. Gently put it on the keys. No pressure, no pressing, just relax. Like branches. Breathe in. Like me, like me. And out. Good girl. In. And out. In. Beautiful job, Mila. You did such a great job. High five.